Purge. Here we go again. Good day, people. This is a pretty nice day today, man. It's clear blue skies out today. Check this out. Clear blue skies. Look at that. Nice. Anywho, we got a bunch of people from the last video when I uh, posted about the dark horse compensator, eliminator, whatever you want to call it. But uh, here we go. We went up in the in the attic, let's say, and we got it down because a lot of people, I don't know, a lot of people question the ability to put it in. But I'm like, eh, it's not very difficult. Awful. Also, I have a mechanic who does work for me who put my motor back together. And he said he called the people. And I definitely trust the guy. So I have no reason to believe that he did not call the people or did what they suggested. I know when um, they put it on, um, they use the, um, the, hold on, pause. I know when they put it on, they called uh, the manufacturer and they suggested that they get another chain. Cause my chain had like maybe 80, I'll say 80 some thousand miles on it. So he's like, get another primary chain. So I got a brand new primary chain. Chain and then they put it in. So like I said, and like you've been watching, the belt went out and I had to go in and swap out the belt. And then when I got it, it had a bunch of debris in it. And that's where we are. So once I got it back, we got a bunch of people that were questioning uh, whether the mechanic put it in it correctly and this, that, and the other. And I don't know. I found it like, um, I found it to be like uh, people are kind of like questioning it the way that was put in, because you haven't really heard anything about it. A lot of people don't put out information regarding this thing, especially when they decide to change it out. But if you go on some of these forums, some of the forums, like people saying, like, it makes noise, um, they had several problems with it, and this, that, and the other. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So I don't see it on here, so I figure I put it out. I really don't care to bash the people, but at the end of the day, they have a product that they believe in, and it just didn't work for me. Well, it isn't working for me, so it is what it is. Life goes on, and then I got to do what I got to do to keep riding my bike. So I thought this one might be a better solution to the compensator for me, but obviously for me, it hasn't been working that well. So it is what it is. So now I'm back to the stop. So since I got questions about, um, I know I'm moving the camera all around. It is what it is. Um, people were saying like, uh, did you take it apart and see what's wrong with it? You know, it is what it is. I can't really tell you that. And I'll tell you this, just as I'm looking at it, it's been sitting up there for maybe about a good three weeks now. I'm looking at it now and I can see like, I'm pretty sure those little black pieces are like the rubber from inside. So I'm fixing to go ahead and take it apart real quick. And, um, I don't know what the specs are about putting it back, but hopefully they'll get back in contact with me. And yes, I reached out to them because some people were like, hey, did you reach out to them and tell them about it? So I don't know if they're trying to say like, um, if you if you reached out to them, maybe they could correct the problem. But you know, at the end of the day, I just want to ride my bike, man. I, I understand, you know, we pay, we pay for various things that we want, but at the end of the day, some of the things don't work out. And I'm not willing to go back and forth with people to try to get it to work correctly. I feel like that's my mechanic's responsibility at that point in time to put it in correctly. If he didn't, it is what it is. Life goes on and we just keep moving. You know, you know, everybody isn't everybody isn't perfect. So he might make a mistake. Whatever. I'ma still use him. So um I'm gonna I'ma just see what it looks like. I have no idea what it looks like anyways. I don't think I've ever seen anyone open it and show anything about it they just talk about it and i'm just trying to show you guys what it looks like how it's not working properly for me and that you make your own decisions what you, my experience is not your experience so at the end of the day you got to make decisions on your own so give me time to get, grab some tools and we'll put we'll take this thing apart and go from there all right uh got you back this is a 5 30 seconds hex so let's go in. Let's see what we got. It's 
definitely on there tight. That's for sure. Seeing it in live time with me. Right, take that off. There's that. Like I said, that one feels real gritty. All right, that's that. It's got a bunch of. I had to go get a two pick, but it's got a bunch of like brown stuff in there. That's that. I don't know. How do you get the rest of it out? I don't know. We'll see. I'm using whatever. Oh, no. I use my picks. Hold on. Let's try it. We got a pick now. Got a pick. Let's see. I'm not sure. I don't see if... I don't feel... I feel a little grit in there. A little grit. Let's see. All right, that's all I see. I don't know if you have to take anything else off. And now I'm thinking if we do have to replace those, how do we get them out? See that green? Uh, make sure you're in the light because I don't want you to miss out on anything. Yeah, that green stuff is all over. And the grooves and stuff. See, like, if I'm looking like this one here, these are like smooth, but this one here is a little bit rough. But I'm not understanding like how do they, how does it um, cushion? What is that? Mm. I don't know what that is looks like I don't know it's like brown or chalky and then the weep holes on this one is also let's see if we can get some of that out of there you got some of that green you got it looks to be like the rubber from the um And then you got something else in there. It looks, I don't know if it looks like it's been crystallized or something. It looks like oil. Not sure what that is, but that's that. And you got a bunch of that black stuff. Pretty sure it's from these sponges. So let's see this one. This one here kind of thick. Come from the back side. Mm, that's not really really anything but I don't know nothing was as gritty as that first one that's what I'm thinking and shoot I don't know I don't know how you would remove these tell you the truth and I don't want to be poking and prodding around not knowing anything I'm wondering, that's sharp as hell. I'm wondering if, if, if like these are just like replaceable, like you just pick them up and pull them out. Let's try one. And it doesn't seem to have any, I don't know. I don't know how it works. It guess it's as good as me. Well, mine rather. And you got a bunch of like the little red, not red, but you got a bunch of like the little green stuff just around there in these grooves. I'm not sure if those grooves make any any difference, but that's about it. This video alone has probably been the most comments I've ever gotten well, since I've been doing this. And it goes to show that a lot of people out there, I don't know, they have experience with it, but to me, they're not sharing that information. Anywho, here we go. I got to start over because I've had even more comments and some, some great information and some feedback from uh, Dark Horse. So it's a great thing. 
So anyways, like I showed you before on the previous video. So I took this out to see if I have any shavings in it. Somebody made a comment saying that, hey, this is hard steel. There shouldn't be any shavings. After you think about it, you start thinking, there shouldn't be any shavings in, in this because this is steel. So that goes to show, like, if it is a shaving, did it not come off of your clutch? And that's what I'm starting to believe. There's been several of you guys said, hey, it's coming from your clutch, this, that, and the other. Something that I have not had uh, either that I've been watching other videos, they said that they have metal flakes. I have not had metal flakes. So um, that's just something to think about. So since I have not experienced some of those things, then I'm kind of leaning towards this isn't my problem, which I said, I'm not a mechanic. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to, uh, what you, what's the word? I'm trying to rectify the situations as they go or as they come. So I eliminated this. However, I am not going back to this because I have the old uh, compensator. So I'm going to run the old compensator and then I'll come back. Meantime, that's going to give me enough time to go get the things that I feel that are necessary to run with this. I feel that when you run this, you need to have a manual adjuster. The only thing about a manual adjuster, every eight to 10,000 miles, you got to take it off and then adjust the manual setting so that it runs properly. That way you have a, um, you have the right spacing for the chain when you put it on here. Because something that people don't understand, yeah, they go get for performance and they, then they put the uh, manual on there, but people don't understand. You got to go back and adjust the manual so that um, it will work properly. So that's where I am. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to keep this off. Then when my other one, the original goes uh, bad, then I'll go back to this. I already got the recipe, how to put it in. Right now, I got my uh, primary oil here, which I normally use. And then I'm going to just grease it up because I cleaned it off and I, I just wanted to see where some of that other stuff was coming from. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to grease it up so that way when it's sitting and it's waiting for me to come back and use it again, it'll be good, in good working condition. Also, I took my screws. They had uh, Loctite on them. So I screwed them in to kind of like clean up my, uh, my threads. And that's what I did with that. So that's what I'm going to do at the moment. I'm also going to show you some of the uh, conversation that we had with Dark Horse. And he gave me, you know, some good advice. I feel like it's it's great advice. But I just want to get back to you guys and let you know, hey, yeah, I took some of your recommendations. And you said, hey, to call Dark Horse and see what the problem was. And that's exactly what I did. So I don't want y'all to just think, hey, it's just bad. No, it ain't necessarily bad, man. Like he said in the comments, there's three components that you have to uh, make sure that they're right. For one, the tensioning. I believe the um, the tension and I believe like how your setup is. And I do believe that, you know what I mean? Some Sometimes we get these things and we think we just put it on there and it's gonna work like it is. Let me get back to his message, let me see. What did he say? Go back, not that one. He said there's three major factors to making sure that it doesn't have any noise. Uh, he said, make sure that you have the correct alignment your sprocket shaft run out and a tank tensioner. So I'll say this as well too. Um, and a lot of people, you just watch one video and you assume you know everything. You know, sometimes you gotta actually dedicate yourself to some of these people's uh, channels and that way you can find out where they're going. But uh, I already have some components from Dark, from uh, Dark Horse, which I'm not gonna tell you because you can go back and watch the videos and see what those are. But this isn't just the only thing I bought from them. And I have other things that are, or that are from them. And like I say, if you watch the channel, you'll see what I'm talking about. And, and we'll go from there. But there are some things that, um, like I say, a lot of people don't necessarily come, come in about. But when you go to uh, these forums and stuff, they, they give you some great information. So with that said, man, I just wanted to say, hey, I, I did reach out with them. Um, to Dark Horse, and he gave me some great information, and uh, it made me realize that it is not necessarily theirs. But at the end of the day, I am going to take it off because then I can kind of, I can kind of pre preserve this one until we until we really need it. So it is what it is. Life goes on, and we'll continue to make mistakes, and hopefully we'll be able to correct them. So one day you will see that you know maybe you might be having problems with your primary area, and just by me mentioning this, if you have the same component. You can see uh, go through the experience that I went to 
and that way you can determine if it's something that works for you or better yet this might re resolve your situation so until next time fellas mm -hmm.